What is going on guys? Panda here and welcome back to World of Outlaws Dirt Racing. So did a little something in my off time. I want to make it through this season so we can move on to late models because I'm extremely excited to race the late models after this season. So I went to Street Stock and I just grinded out some races. I hired some drivers so that way it would just do it for me. And we have enough to buy our next engine upgrade. So that is extremely good news for us. And we will be able to get some, at least a little bit upgraded here. Excellent. So we'll just need to be able to do the last upgrade after the next race. So now we're sitting at 78% upgraded, which is great. That should definitely help us in our running speed and see if it helps us at all. We're also up to 65,000 fans. So we should get some pretty good merch sales after this one. But for this weekend, for this week, we're going Kokomo, Knoxville, and Grant's, Grant Park Speedway. We're sitting second on the points. We're 30 points back on Dominic Malaire. We're going to need to make us some time, that's for sure. After the last few races, just kind of... Willow Creek just really wasn't our wasn't our race, unfortunately. We had Weed Sport where we couldn't just... We just couldn't do anything at Weed Sport. It was very, very sad. We got a win at Port Royal when we finished second at Eldora. We got third at Madison Lake, fourth at Sugarbush. So we're looking good. We're looking for another top five. Definitely a win here at Kokomo. So let's go ahead and get into it. I see all the support that we get on the series. Thank you guys so much. If you are still liking it, make sure you hit that like button. It really means a lot to me. Without further ado, Kokomo Speedway. All right, we need 11.034. There's no way. I'm getting a little de like deterred because I ha now have the car upgraded to level four and everything and I still am not fast enough. I was about two tenths of a second off that speed. I just do not see that happening. But we are gonna try it. Coming out of that corner, not even close. 11-1 on that one. We're gonna try to have a little bit faster lap here. I tapped the wall, that's, got, that's gonna ruin our lap right there. I got a little sideways, that's gonna hurt us. Ninth place. It's just, we cannot qualify better than that and it's a little disturbing regardless. Dominic Muller, of course, first place by three tenths of a second. We have Kenny Hefner fourth, Donnie Hendershot fifth. We're all the way down to ninth. We're just kind of be looking to get a position in the heat somehow to get to the qualified dash. So let's go ahead and move on and go to the heat. All right, we already know. Donnie Hendershot right there in front of us. Here we go. Good start right there. We're gonna get a little bit of boost. We're gonna take Donnie Hendershot's position. Cassandra Menem's gonna cut us off. I'm gonna let off a lot so we can take that low line and hold second place through this first lap. I'm gonna let off again so we can hold the low line. It seems to be the fastest way to go. Try not to boot the tire. Oh, we just missed it, coming to the white flag. We're holding second place. We need one more good corner. And we are gonna go to the qualified dash on that one. We move up a position. We're going to the qualified dash. That will put us fifth place in the qualified dash. I will take that. So qualifying is extremely hard, but the racing is a lot easier. Very weird to me, but I'm not going to complain about it. Dominic Muller, uh just under a second ahead of us. Cassandra Menem over uh, just under a second behind us. Donnie Hendershot fourth, Jesse Wright fifth. Bobby Young moves to the B main, and so does the rest of the pack. Here we are. We're starting fifth in the qualified dash. We need to get at least one position, preferably one position to help us in the feature. But I'm not gonna complain if we finish fifth. We get a good start. That's gonna move us up to fourth, but I cut low. Oh, Detweiler's gonna cut us. I'm gonna have to let off a lot here going into the corner, second corner here. We're gonna slide up the track. I'm gonna make contact with third. Oh, that was a bad corner. Detweiler's absolutely gonna get that spot back. I just need to get my line going here. Detweiler in third. We're gonna try to race him here on the straightaway. On, as the white flag comes out, we are in third. Dylan Smith right behind us. Dodson takes the position. We move up to fourth though. Coming to the checkered flag. We will take fourth. Passing Dylan Smith right at the line to get a starting position of fourth in the feature race. Dylan Smith moves from 6th to 5th, 7th to 5th, I think. 
Ian Detweiler goes sixth, Darren Bolak seventh, Kenny Hefner all the way back in eighth. Dominic Muller, big surprise, wins the race. Right, Darren Bolak, nice new look on his car, I think. That looks new. Jesse Wright, all the way back in 17th. Don't know why it's showing him. Margie Books, Brooks. And there we are. Back in fourth place. We got a kind of a deep, we have a decent starting position. We're just going to be looking to work our way through the field. Green flag is out. Dotson will take a slight advantage of us. Coming into the first corner, we're going to slip. Dotson spins. He gets collected in the back back there. Caution is out. I don't know if we hit him or if Dodson spun on his own. But we move up to third place after one lap of racing. I am unsure if we connected with Dodson. I'll have to look at the replay and see what happened there. We get a good start. We're going to move up to second here. I'm going to let off a lot so I don't hit Malaire. Oh, we're going to battle it out coming into the second corner. Neck and neck. Malaire falls behind. We take the lead coming into the, the next lap. Malaire collects, connects with us. We hit the wall. Malaire is, Malaire slid up into me. I had no chance. Dirty driving by Malaire to take the lead back. Just dirty, dirty driving right there. We hold second. We're gonna make try to make our way back up to first. If I do, I am wrecking Malaire. If not, I'll be walking to his pit box after this and having some words. Muller can't stand losing, so he has to wreck his opponents. There is some damage on my car. It is making me a little bit slower. So it'll be just kind of a shootout for a second at this point. Muller catching up to lap traffic with six to go. We're just holding this line. Muller is pulling away. The damage to my car has slowed me down a little bit. I'm not turning as well. It is unfortunate that Muller had to wreck us to get that position. But we will be we will be on the lookout for Malaire in the future races. I am not happy about what happened. We have to avoid the lap traffic just cuts up in front of us. We avoid them. The yellow flag comes out. We are still second place. I Malaire is just driving like an absolute asshole in this one. Malaire, this rivalry is gonna be big by the end of the season. I can feel it. Three to go. We're still second. We fall back to third. Oh, Gromley's trying to take the lead. He tried to pull a slide on Malaire. It did not work in his favor. We are back up to second. Car is not turning very well. One to go, white flag lap. I am not getting a good line on these turns. The damage to my car is slowing me down a lot. I'm just holding it on. We're coming out of the line. We take second because Dominic Malaire wrecked into us early in the race. It did damage to my car and absolutely ruined our chances of getting that win. I am very upset about that. Oh, we did connect with Dodson. That is my fault entirely. I will be going to Doug Dodson's trailer and apologizing to him after the race. But Dominic Malaire is absolutely getting punched in the face. Let's go ahead and look at that. I'm going to go ahead and look at the replay, get a screenshot, and we're moving on. Second place this weekend, not what we wanted to see with Dominic Malaire wrecking us early in the race, doing some damage, slowing us down. He takes a 34-point lead with two wins. I will absolutely be looking out for him at the other tracks. If It's unfortunate that these are street uh, sprint cars because in street stock, you could just bang people all the way, and I absolutely be looking for payback. But you have to be so careful in sprint cars. Ian Detweiler takes third. Nathan Gramley takes fourth. He tried to get first, but that slide job just slowed him down. Dodson gets fifth. Darren Bolak, sixth. Donnie Hendershot, seventh. Dylan Smith, eighth. Jesse Wright, ninth. Andrew Boyer, tenth. Let's see, where did Cassandra finish? She's finished all the way back in 16th. We are now 38 points ahead of third. So that is good news all the way around. We love to see it. Nine grand race payout, seven grand sponsor, three grand merch. 
good weekend for us. 20 grand in the bank. I will take that. We hit our sponsor goal. It gives us an extra three grand in the bank. Could have been better, but I won't complain. Of course, sponsor goal expired. We move on from Kokomo to Knoxville. Knoxville's where we play, we performed very well last season. So I am looking forward to that. Oh, cool. We got a new mechanic. Car power discount, repair discount, 12%. Nice. Let's go ahead and get that equipped. Personnel, new mechanic. We can get rid of the dude that literally has a mug shot as a picture, which is just kind of weird to me. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go into regional. Back to the 305 sprints. I see those late models over there. They're calling to me. How much money do we need for the next part? Oh, we only need 51 grand for tires. 77 for wing. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and buy this last upgrade here. Excellent. That's all the way upgraded. We need 260 grand for the last one. That's not coming anytime soon. I'm going to go ahead and repair everything. And we are ready for Knoxville Raceway. All right, we're looking for a 16325. I ran two laps of practice and ran a 161. So that is absolutely doable. That last this engine upgrade we put in really helped us out. Here we go. Coming to the green flag for qualifying. Here we go. Trying to find the best line around this track. We got two laps to do it. Those bumps aren't going to help. Coming out of the corner quick. Listen to that wall reverb into the cockpit of the car. That's going to slow us down a little bit. This is going to be a bad lap. We are going to get our goal position, though. We will take this extra $700 home. There's a much better line right there. Coming out of the final corner here. Here we go. We get second place with a 16, almost a 16 flat. Second place, Heat 2 starting first. Dominic Malaire still one tenth of a second faster. This rivalry is absolutely going to heat up by the end of the season. Here we go, Heat 2, top five advance, top two qualified dash. I didn't even see who lined up outside of us. I honestly forgot to see who qualified where, that's my fault. And we are underway, green flag is out. We have three laps of racing in this one. Just trying to hold on to this first position. Donnie Hendershot lined up outside of us. I'm going to try to block him a little bit. I'm going to slide a little bit. It's going to slow us down. It's going to open the door for second place. We're going to hold on to it, though. Three to go. This is a long race. Actually, four laps of heat racing here. Woo. That was a bad corner. We come into the second corner here. Still holding first. We're a little bit slower on the corners than they are but we pull away on the straights. We are absolutely pulling away at this point. Just hold it through the corner. Oh, I'm gonna smack the wall, I'm gonna smack the wall. That's gonna slow us down just a little bit. That's gonna give them a chance to pass us, but we are not gonna let them. As we come out of the corner to take one to go, still in the lead here. As we come through the first corner, I go too low into the infield, just screwing up my line on that one. That one's my fault. Final corner here, trying to keep it right there in the middle where there's no bumps. We take it and we're moving on to Qualify Dash with a win in our heat race. Donnie Hendershot falls back to third, starting second in the Qualify Dash. You already know who's in front of me and you already know what's gonna happen. Fred Arnold takes the second, the other transfer position. Donnie Hendershot will have to race from the back. He finishes third. Josh Jones and Billy Green are the final two transition spots to the feature. The rest of them will be racing their way in, in the B main. Qualified dash. This is the big one. We've got Dominic Miller on the inside. Debating if I want to wreck him. Here we go. Green flag is out. I'm going to run him over. He spins, we spin him. That is payback for last weekend. Drop him to the back of the field. That's payback right there. No caution is out. We're gonna hold first place here. Through one, we're in first place. Dominic way back at the back. I am happy about that. I am, I do not feel bad about what I did there. 
Coming into the final corner here to take two to go. We're still taking, we're still pulling away. This run, need two good lines here. Those bumps are really aggressive in turn one. Coming to the final corner here to come to one to go. Still holding first. Second place is catching us just a little bit through the corners. One to go now. Ooh, I messed that corner up just a little bit. We're still going to hold first, though. We're going to need a good line in the feature. That car is extremely fast behind us. And we come to the line. We will win the Qualify Dash at Knoxville Raceway. We will take first place in the feature. Dominic Muller got... We got our payback. Ran him over. He, ran, he runs us in the back. Gets hit and spins out. That puts him all the way back in eighth for the feature race. Nathan Gramley finishes second, Mike Mayberry third, and Andrew Boyer fourth. This is it. We had a good weekend so far. Matthew Swift all the way back in 17th. He was our rival last season, just trying to get fifth place on the season. But now we have Dominic Muller. He's our biggest rival. We're looking for him to fall a couple spots in this one. Don't know if that's going to happen. We just need to get this win. That's all that matters. We're coming to the green. Green flag is out. Gromley to the right of me. We enter the first corner. We're going to take the low line just so I don't hit him. I have no idea where he is currently positioned. Oh, he's just outside. He is right outside of me. Slide into the corner here. He's going to fall back a little bit. We're going to take the lead. We're going to come to 14 to go. A lot of racing in this one. Oh, Gromley Rex big time. Gromley Rex big time right there. No caution. We are still green. Coming to the second corner here. About to cross the line to take 13 to go. Huge lead now. Gromley Rex. That's going to give Dominic Muller a position. We do not want him to get any free positions. Hoping that when we catch lap traffic that they slow him down a little bit. Third place on back is so far behind us now. I'm stuck on the wall. It just magnetically attached me to the wall. Second place is going to catch us. I don't know what happened there. That was a bad entry and it just stuck me to the wall we're going to need to pull away again and we do we we finally get a good line going for the rest of the lap and it pulls us away that car is just not fast enough to keep up with us the rest of the field is so spread out the lap traffic is bunched up that could cause a caution at some point as we come to 10 to go 10 laps of racing left I see this I see the lap traffic ahead of me we're going to have to filter our way through them here soon. As we come to nine to go now. This has been a pretty clean, fun race so far. Lab traffic ahead of us. Very, very slow. My face itch. Gromley all the way back in 25th. He started second. That wreck really screwed him up. He is not running a good line now. He is extremely slow after that wreck. And we will lap him as we come up to three wide lap traffic. I'm going to take the low line, just try to get by everyone here. I'm going to have to let off big time there. 21st does not want to let us by. I'm going to have to run low. I'm going to let off a lot because of 20th. I'm going to let off even more because of 20th. We are filtering our way through the line now. With six to go, 17th place directly in front of me. I'm going to let off so I don't hit him. Coming to the second corner here. Coming to five to go now. Second place still way behind us. Five to go. We're still working our way through lap traffic. Coming up to 16th place now. One of our biggest competitors right last year is right in front of us. We got Nathan Hill, I do believe. We got Hill right in front of us. 
He was one of our biggest compa- Oh! Slow car on track. That could cause a caution. It doesn't. Luckily, he'll let up. I noticed him because he'll let up. Three to go. We're still working our way through lap traffic. As we just fly by 13th. So we come up to Cassandra Minimum in 12th place. Two to go now. That last engine upgrade is the key component to what we needed to be fast. As we come to one to go, still handily in the lead. As long as Cassandra Minimum doesn't screw us. She kind of does, but it's not her fault. It's mostly my fault on that one. But we are right back in it. I had to just let off. We're just going to take home the win. We win at Knoxville. We are steadily taking home second and first now. I am not going to complain. Malair gets up to fifth. He had a pretty good race. I'm not too happy, but I, do, I don't mind. Nathan Gromley will finish dead last after his huge accident on lap one. I'm going to go ahead and watch this replay and see what happened to Gromley. Out of the first corner. He collides. Oh, he just collided with the car in third place. And it just that was it for him. That was his night. Him and Mike Mayberry make huge collision and he will go home in last place. First place on the weekend. Of course, we're not going to complain. Mike Mayberry, Andrew Boyer, third. Dominic Miller, fifth. Not exactly what we needed. We're now going to be only 24 points behind. We got a 10 point gain on that one. We move on and take our money. 13 grand race payout, seven grand sponsored, three grand merch. It was about $25,000 on the weekend. I will absolutely take that. We're gonna get three grand from our sponsor. We're gonna get an achievement as well. Win 10 races, I will absolutely take that. That does count like my uh, gaining good reputation among fellow drivers. He's a good clean driver. Thank you, Aaron Mendez. They say that because I wrecked Dominic Malaire and nobody likes Dominic Malaire. We go to Grant Park. That'll be our last race of this video. We are just kind of racing out. We need 51 grand to upgrade the tires. That'll be our next one. And actually we should be able to do that after the next race. So that being said, let's go to Grant Park. We're looking for a 13042, which is just about the fastest I ran in qual in practice. So it'll be, we're just gonna race our heart out here. What I do is I let off just a little bit into the corner and let the like kind of inertia just take me around the corner. I like to get that low line and send it up middle through the exit. That seems to be the fastest for me. Now others are gonna be completely different, of course. I feel like I found a new groove on the track, actually. This lap's gonna be way slower. I feel like that middle line is actually coming in pretty quick. Yeah, that middle line got fast. We'll take home sixth. We're gonna start second in heat two, yes. Okay, sixth place, I'll take it. First place goes to Dog Doug Dodson. Wow, Dominic's qualifies second. So he will be first place in heat two. Ooh. All right, Cassandra Minim fifth. Nice race for her. There we are. It's almost like he did it on purpose, so that way we'd race each other. It really feels like he did it on purpose. But here we go. We're ready to go green here at Grant Park. Dominic Malaire on our inside. Let's race it out, baby. I got my revenge. I'm not gonna try to wreck him anymore. But we are gonna try to keep second place here in heat. In the heat though, that's not gonna help us. I just gotta remember to let off a little bit so I send down through the middle. We come to one to go, Dominic Malaire just pulling away on us in this one. We will be going to the qualify dash, but we will start be starting fifth, I do believe. We'll be going to the qualify dash. I'll take it. I will take it. 
It's an absolute shootout. We're starting sixth. It'll be an absolute shootout between me and Dominic all season long. All right, Dominic all the way up there in second. Cassandra Menom gets her transfer spot. She's here with us as well. Here we go. Cassandra Menom right there up below us. We go into the first corner, trying to race it nice and clean. Dominic Muller will fall back to fourth, hopefully fifth as we come out of this corner. No, we will fall back to sixth, actually. Me and Darren Bolak racing it out. I need to loosen my car up just a little bit. We get up to fourth. Cassandra Menem spins it and wrecks Dominic Muller. We continue to hold fourth here as we come to the uh, final lap. We come out of the corner here. We're going to hold third now. Darren Bolak will not have an answer for us to this corner. We will start the feature in third place. Excellent run right there. Dominic catches back up and gets up to fourth place. That was an excellent run for us. Cassandra Menem drops all the way back to eighth. Unfortunate for her. Let's see what happened between her and Darren or Dominic Muller. So we need to go fast forward just a little bit. There, there, there it is right there. Can I switch cars? No, I can't. Okay, so out of the corner. Can't really see what happened. Let's see if we can... See if we can see behind us by any chance. There it is. So coming out of the corner, we have... Ooh, it looks like Cassandra might have just spun a little bit. I can't really tell what happened. Unfortunate for her. And we will move on. Third place in the feature. Not bad. A main time, baby. Dominic lines up to the right of us. Didn't he finish two spots below us? Or am I? No. What? What? There's Dominic right there beside us. I thought he finished two spots below us, but maybe I'm wrong. Ready to go, Green. Let's do it. We're gonna trying to get a good restart here. We get we get a good start restart. I mean good start. We get a good start. We're gonna take second place out of the first corner. We're just looking for Dominic Malaire to basically wreck in this one, fall all the way back to maybe 10th, 15th. We're not gonna wreck him. That's for sure. I want to race clean against him. He is our rival. We're gonna take first place out of the corner. Coming to the final corner of this lap. We're still holding first. The corner is a little bit slower than I wanted it to be. 10 to go. It's going to be a battle for this entire race there we're not much faster than anyone oh but we do gain a little bit of distance between us and second on this lap there we go we get a little bit of distance nine to go i wish the car was just a little bit looser that would probably help us out quite a bit because i have to let off a lot to get to this low line here there we go that was a good corner that's much nicer we're going to continue to pull away now. Over Darren Bullock. I let off too much on that corner. As we have seven to go now. We've got about a second lead over Bullock, but that could anything can happen right now. A caution can come out and we could have a bad restart. We're not that much quicker to where I'm concerned about us just pulling away. They I wouldn't even say concerned. We're not quick enough that I would think that we'd pull away. So I'm just kind of watching my rear views as we come out of each corner. We are getting a little ground between us. As we come up to the back of the field, huge wreck in front of me. Exactly what I mean by anything can happen. As we come up to the back of the field now, lap traffic directly in front of us. We come, we cross the line with four to go. Now that I'm running through lap traffic, literally anything could happen. We could run into some lap cars that don't want to let me buy. So we take three to go. Bolak is directly behind us. Two to go now. We just gotta keep running our lines. 
as we come to the white flag lap now. One to go. See one more good corner. One more good corner and we will win this race. And we will win this race. We're gonna take home a victory two in a row, baby. That is what we needed right there. Don't know where Dominic finished. He finishes fifth. That is gonna give us 10 more points on him. Darren Bolak second, Doug Dotson third, Cassandra Marin Minim fourth. Good for her. She made quite a bit of room up after the wreck in the qualified dash. Good for her. First place. First place. You love to see it. We're still second on the season. We are 14 points back now. We have three wins. It's been a Millar Montgomery show all season. Rowdy Hefner has a win. Ricky Holden also has a win. But it's been just the two of us all season long. It's going to be like that for the rest of the season, I think. But I'm okay with it. So Darren Bolock second, of course. Dylan Smith all the way down in ninth. He was the second place contender last season. Ten grand win, 17, seven grand sponsor, three grand merch. I will take it all. 21,000. We get our sponsor goal. That gives us 58 grand in the bank. 67,000 fans. All right. So after that, we're going to go ahead and buy the new tires. Don't have enough to upgrade any of them yet. So I will have to wait a couple races before we get the upgrades on those. But in the next video, we're going to have Fairbury, Lima Land, and Charlotte. Today we had Grant Park, Knoxville, and Kokomo. First, second, first, and first. You would love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. Looking for good finishes at these races, especially this one with 18 grand to win. I could really use that money. But we're basically going to be holding up our money. I'm not going to buy any more upgrades. We're going to save it all for the late models and the rest of this because I could probably bring in around 200 grand by the end of the season. And that would be a good starting point for our late model. If you guys are excited for the late models next season, make sure you drop a comment below. Let me know what color you want the car to be. I'm thinking it'll be probably about the same look that we have now. I really dig this sprint car look. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.